Good evening, everyone. Welcome to 12 News at 11. I'm Don Gray. Well, earlier today, we brought you a look into what the Board of Education meeting about Liberty High School's future is. We know now that if consolidation does move forward, it won't just affect the Liberty Mountaineers. 12 News, Barbara Ron has been covering this story since the beginning. She joins us now live here in the studio. So, Barbara, where uh, are there any decisions or any votes made at uh, this evening's meeting? Don, well, at today's Board of Education work session meeting, there were no votes or decisions made about consolidation of schools. However, Superintendent of Harrison County Schools, Dora Stutler, along with McKinley Architecture and Engineering Firm, made their proposal to the Board of Education about what they believe would be best for the communities of Liberty High, RCB, Mountaineer Middle, Washington Irvin Middle, Salem Elementary, and Northview. Counties all across West Virginia have been facing a decrease in student enrollment. Harrison County Schools are now no stranger to it. You combine those two middle schools, put them into a great facility at Liberty High School, We'll do some upgrades and do a secure entrance and some, some things to Liberty for this middle school. This is part of a three-step proposal that would first consolidate Liberty High School with Robert C. Bird at RCB's building. Then combine Mountaineer Middle and Washington Irvin Middle at Liberty's existing facility. Salem and Northview Elementaries would move to the current Mountaineer Middle facility. Parents and students alike made impassioned pleas to the school board to keep their schools open. Teachers shared concerns about student performance as well as job security. If Northview Elementary School is consolidated, the heart of our community will be forever changed. That's what happens with consolidations. Bigger is not always better. In between consolidation and closure is being blurred. Never mind the fact that there has been no mention of what will happen to all service positions held at Liberty. The superintendent says the 38 positions that were unfilled last year have now risen to 56 in 2023 says currently RCB is operating at just over 50% capacity, while Liberty is at 39%. If enrollment is combined at RCB, the building will be 92% in use. In a process that happens every 10 years, architects and engineers have identified school facilities in need of repairs or changes. This includes suggestions for possible consolidations. Now, according to the engineering presentation, the county stands to save more than $50 million through 2030 through school closings and consolidations. The superintendent said that if these consolidations are done now, there will not be, there will not be a need for another one for a while to come. Reporting from the studio live for 12 News, I'm Barbara Ron.